Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of this series. Here in part 3, we're going to add multiple cards to our weekly plan, as well as add the ability to scroll through those different cards. Towards the end of the video, we're also going to refactor, meaning just add a little bit more detail to the UI or the user interface to make it look more uniform as well. With that in mind, let's get started. So let's give ourselves a little bit of context of where we're at. So in part two, we created this card here for the weekly plan, and then we duplicated it so we could have two cards sitting next to each other. Here in part three, we're going to make this a scrolling view, and we're going to make the card, we're going to create multiple cards just using one set of code. Here we have two copies of the same card here and here but we want to make this a scrolling view instead. So the way we can do that is we're going to take one of these cards here and place it within an H stack at with and a for each loop. So I'm going to get rid of one of these cards here. So instead we have just one card. Okay. So this is our day card here and it's sitting within in an H stack which again is a horizontally is a is a horizontal stack so the items within it are stacked horizontally or side by side so i'm going to give this H stack a little bit of spacing so that that way we can add some spacing between the elements within it so we'll give it a spacing of 30 that doesn't really do anything right now, but once we start adding items to this H stack, then you'll see that all the items are are spaced about 30 uh, about 30 apart. So now we can go ahead and duplicate the day card using a for each loop. So the way we can do that is start with our for each loop. Type an item here, item in. All right, and I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to take this day card here, copy it, Command C, and delete it, and we're going to pa uh, paste it within the for each loop. So Command V. So now what you see here is that we have our for each loop. And we're duplicating it five times, and we're going to call each item within the for each loop. Uh, we're going to call each um, say object that it's iterating through in the for each loop an item. So each card is called an item, and then it's item in. And here is our card that we're duplicating five times so you can imagine that it's going in through it's going through each card uh, five times or uh, one time at least, uh, at least five times so it'll go through here once twice thrice and then the fourth and the fifth time and it will create five cards all right so now we have our H stack which is from here to here so one good thing to know is that if you Click on this bottom bracket here. You know where the H stack ends. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of some of the space here so we can read this e more easily. And I'm going to highlight all of it. Control I just to make sure, that, make sure that our indentation is correct. Okay. So we have our H stack for each loop, which creates five cards. Now we want to place this H stack within a scrolling view so that we can actually scroll through these items or these cards. Right now it's kind of stuck in this position here. Let's get rid of this one space here. All right, so let's go ahead and create our scroll view so that way we can actually scroll through these cards. So the way we can do that is, let's just take this H stack and then command click 
embed in a V stack, and we're going to, we will rename this V stack. All right, now it's renamed the V stack, the outer V stack, to be a scrolling view. So scroll view dot horizontal. So horizontal here is indicating that we're it's a it's a scroll view that scrolls horizontally. Shows indicator, and we're going to say false. So an indicator is, you can imagine it to be a bar that shows you where you are in the scroll view. So just like when you scroll down a page, you have these indicators here that indicate where you are in that uh, view. But we don't need that though, so we're going to say false. But if we were to type in true here, then this would be, then we would have a, a indicator showing us where we are in the scroll view, but we don't need that. Okay, so now in order to see whether or not we can actually scroll this, scroll through these items, we are going to run this in the preview. So you can click on this play button here or this live preview button. And this should once it loads up, then we should be able to see and play with our scroll view now. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, this works. So we have. Some, so right now we can tell, we can see that there is no spacing on the side here, but we would like to have some, a little bit of spacing at least. Otherwise, this looks kind of, um, it's, the fact that it's flush um, isn't the best looking uh, user interface. So let's go ahead and add some spacing or some padding here between the first card and the, um, and the inside there. So the way we can do that is we can look at our H stack. We can add some padding here. So let's say we've got padding. Um, first, let's just give it a default padding and see what happens. All right, so now we have some space there. I'm gonna go ahead and end this preview, or the live preview. So now you can see that we have some spacing between the first card and the side there. Okay, let's just clean up this UI a little bit more and start, uh, let's align this weekly plan to the left, so that way, um, and give it a little bit less spacing between this scroll view and the uh, and the weekly plan. So the way we can do that is that we have our outer V stack here. So this outer V stack, which is if we click anyone here, so if you notice, so as soon as I click in this v-stack here, we can see that our v-stack is this, is highlighted here in blue, or is outlined here in blue. So we want to make sure that all the items in here are aligned to the left edge. So the way we can do that is we can add a mod, we can add a parameter here, alignment, and say dot leading. So we're going to align all the items within the V stack to the, to the leading edge. So now we have our home workouts, it's aligned to the leading edge. This card is aligned to the leading edge. And the weekly plan is also aligned to the leading edge. So now we have our main card here. There's, for some reason, uh, for some reason it's being aligned straight and flush to the edge. We don't want that. Let's add some spacing to that card. So we have our main card here, view, a main card view here, which is by the Z stack. And this Z stack, we have an image and the V stack. So let's add some padding, not only to the top, but also to the side as well. So we have our V stack again. We're gonna add another modifier to this V stack. This is added by typing dot padding. So I believe the default padding that Apple gives is 16. So be about 16 between the, from the uh, card to the leading edge. All right. Let's get rid of this padding from the top. So the way we can do that here is we can just comment it. So I like to comment out code, especially when I'm refactoring code to make things look better. That way I can look back at it. And if I decide to 
change it up again, then I can always refer back to old code. So that's why I like to, instead of deleting uh, code, I like to comment out code. But there will be a point eventually when you come back to refactor or say edit back this code to make things look better and cleaner, then you can go ahead and delete it. But when you, but you don't want to just edit code by deleting it. If you do that, then you might end up deleting code that you actually wanted to keep and sometimes it's hard to get back. Okay, so we have our home workouts and the main card is a little bit closer to the home workouts text above there. All right, now we have our weekly plan. There's so much spacing here. That's probably not something that we would really want. So we can see how we can handle that. So we have our text and weekly plan heading between the left and the right. Let's see if... Okay, let's move up the scroll view. So we have ours. H stack sitting above, and we can move this um, H stack up a little bit. So we can do that is just add a dot offset. So offset will allow us to move our items up. So our offset for the H stack is. Let's give it zero here for the X, but we want to move it up. So we, I think we can type in, uh, let's type in negative 20. So we'll move it negative 20 up. There you go. So it's a little bit closer. Maybe let's try negative 40. Oops. Oh, actually, you know, we don't want to add that to the scroll view, to the H stack within the scroll view. We actually want to add this to the scroll view itself. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we don't need that, so I'm going to just delete it. I'll add it to the scroll view. That way it's moved up. There you go. So now we have home workouts aligned to the leading edge. Our day card also aligned to the leading edge. Weekly plan and the cards here are aligned to the leading edge. All right, that should be it for part three. In part four, the next video here, we'll be adding data so that we can actually go from this you can click on these card items and go from um, this card to another view. And instead of saying, oh, Monday chess, because not, not every day is Monday, um, we can actually make this Monday chess, Tuesday back, and Wednesday arms, and so on and so forth. All right, see you guys in the next part. Thank you.